Hi friends, I want to do an unboxing and putting away of my kits for March from Coco Daisy. It's always exciting to get this little box of happy and I did have a delay this month, but finally everything is here. And I know we're very close to March, but everything is still available in the shop and it's gorgeous. So I didn't want to skip doing this unboxing and showing you everything. And then I had a question about my storage. I, I did the February and January kits. I showed you them all stored. And so I thought, why don't I combine and do an unboxing and a storage, You're putting everything away so you can see. All right, let's open up the box. And March's theme is Orchard Path. Look at those yummy, yummy colors. And uh, I, I'm just so looking forward to creating with this. And there's always a little note from Christine, the owner, about the kit. And you get a little subscriber gift. And this time it's a small sticker set of numbers. Perfect. Just to refresh your memory as the design team member for the memory keeping side, I get the Traveler's Notebook Kit. I get the pocket kit, so like pocket scrapbooking, uh, Project Life, that's the pocket memory keeping kit. I get the, I get a planner kit and I've chosen an A5 this month. There's the, let me pull this one first, the memory keeping sticker kit. Can't wait to see those. And then the secret memory keeping classified kit. So I'm gonna dig in and just take everything out of the packaging. And I, I do hate to create too much noise with the packaging. But this is like a live, <laughs> a live uh, unboxing. So all those stickers go together. Oh, it's really cool. We have a small one. I love the little, little sentiments. All right, all the planner stuff, I'll just take it out and put it over here. I'll do the planner last. And all these bags are, are reusable. I use them all the time to do stuff, like send people that I know goodies or um, repackage things that I'm storing away. So this is all the pocket memory keeping kit. I'll just stick them all together there. And the Traveler's Notebook Kit. I'm already writing that washi. Okay. So I think I'll start here because, I'll, I'll leave this last. I'll start here because in my setup, and if you looked at the video for February and March, I had two separate videos. I use this Totally Tiffany. It's called the Stamp Die and Storage. And it has many multiple compartments, three tiers. The dividers come in and out. You can rearrange these here, this one. And then um, the shorter one, also rearrangeable. So I generally like to keep three by four cards. I, I sort of keep the same system for these kits. Um, makes things easier when I'm scrapbooking if I know where I'm reaching to. So I usually have something like that or sometimes I have it like this. So we'll see. I can change it up if I want to. Um, in the left back corner, I usually put the Traveler's Notebook itself because I don't scrap in it, but I did last month pull pages for my layout that I made from the Traveler's Notebook. I used them as layers behind my photo. And then I put away the, um, for the Traveler's Notebook, Christine creates a couple of layouts ahead of time. I love it. And she gives you the instructions. So again, since I don't scrap in the TN, I put that back there. And then I, I keep the back for packaging. In addition to this storage, I use these very, very inexpensive Sistema. Just happens to be called um, brand. I get them from Home Goods. They're just very inexpensive plastic 
food storage. You can use whatever you want, actually. And for other types of kits and stuff, I store my die cuts in iris four by six and five by seven containers. But for in this case, because the amount of die cuts is, you know, it's a, it's a contained amount and um, it just fits really nicely in one of these little storage containers. And it, this in turn fits in my bigger storage tiered thing. So I stick all the, I usually stick all but the planner die cuts. And then I take out, I, I like removing all my packaging. I take out the, um, the little sheet that tells you what's in it and um, I'll prop that up where, okay, I think this was like this, there we go. Uh, I'll prop it up behind um, this little container. This is really cool. We got some um, silicone, because they're not puffy stickers, there's just little silicone badges. Ooh, really neat. And you know what I'm gonna do? This is a specialty item, but I again, I, I, I work better if I don't have to deal with packaging. I'm gonna take them out and put them in with the die cuts. I prefer to rifle through rather than have to open individual packages and, uh, I don't know, it just bugs me. Uh, we've got a pretty, a oh, gorgeous tag. So I'm sure I'm gonna stick that, um, the three by four cards here and I'll stick the tags there. <gasps> we got some enamel dots. Now these will not fit. This is what I'll do with enamel dots. I will take the backing, um, the dots on their clear backing sheet out of the package, keep the backing sheet on, and then I'll take a little bit of adhesive. And what I'll do is I'll put adhesive on the plastic and then stick these on. I, I really prefer doing that. Um, keeps them still rigid. I can put this upright. And I'm gonna put um, specialty items here. I'll put most of the stickers over here and then there's more specialty items here. I think I have another one of these dividers, which I might try to bring over. We'll see. All right, um, the stamps. I actually stick these in my planner. I have stuck them in my planner bag. I think for now, I'm gonna keep them here and I'm just gonna take them off of here. If I use them in the um, planner sticker book, which which I'll show you in, in, in a little bit, I usually take out the white sheet and put them in there. But I'm gonna put them here because I know I want to use them in the actual memory keeping scrapbooking rather than the planner. I mean, I still might take them and use them in the planner, but I'm going to stick them here for now. Um, the alphas. So I do take them out. I think what I'm going to do is take... And then all packaging, I stick behind the tin, like extra packaging. Because when I'm done... Um, with that month, if, if I'm just gonna put everything away, sometimes I will stick them back in, but I'll consolidate and I'll, let's say I'll have these two sticker sheets, I'll consolidate them into one of these and then I'll cut the top and, and store them. But for right now, since I know I'm gonna be actively rifling through and getting, you know, using them this month, I'm gonna take them out completely. They, they're pretty rigid, they stick up and, I, I will stick stickers on this side. Ooh, these are really darn cute. I've got some more stickers. Awesome. Ooh, we got two sheets of these as well. It's fabulous. So, keep those together like this. And then I just go from tall to short. Papers, ooh, yes. These are so lovely. Oh my gosh, this kit. This is why I did not want to skip doing an unboxing for you because it's all available and it's all so pretty. Um, TN kit usually gets two sheets of each paper and I believe there's three. One, two, no, two, three, four, five five different sheets and they're double-sided. So this is what the other sides look like. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, 
So put these facing one way, and I'll put these facing the opposite way. This birch, oh my gosh, this birch. So yeah, put all my papers in this back corner. All right, I moved my storage container so that I can make sure everything's in frame. And um, let me go ahead and with the smaller kit, it is the sticker kit for memory keeping. They're sized for the bigger Happy Planner. There's tons of different sticker kits available at the Coco Daisy monthly. Um, they're so fun and they fit all sorts of different styles. So depending on what you prefer to use, um, like the Hobonichi size, the Happy Planner regular size, that sort of thing, there's options. So there's always some, some word strips, some numbers, there's little strips. I think I'm missing, oh, we've got the alpha that matches. Oh, this is cool. The number set. So I'll put my alphas here. Actually, I'm gonna put all my stickers here, but I wanna show them all to you. There's always some clear ones. And see these fit the, the little boxes for the Happy Planner. Oh, they're so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. And I do tend to put the alphas in the front. Don't know why. I might change that this, this month because they're so pretty. I'm going to reach over here. It is like spring here today in California. We had a high of like 74. We're going to have a high of 77 tomorrow. So I'm totally just ready to plunge into this kit. You know what? This smaller sticker that also came with the sticker, Merry Keeping Sticker Kit, just cute scripty words. I'm going to put here with the stamp set. I don't know. It just feels like it goes with that. More of these. So I'll go ahead and take them out. And you might think, well, why don't you just keep one in a package and take out, take just one out. But the reason I do that is occasionally I will have the urge to use a bunch, you know, repet repetition. And again, for me, I don't like to have to go dig into this plastic when I'm actually creating. I would rather have it already out of the bag. And then we have another set of these. I will just leave these in here. I can't see, well, actually that's not true. In January, I did use a bunch of the enamel dots and I did have to go into the second pack for one color. These to me are die cuts, but they're specialty die cuts here speech bubbles in three colors from the kit. How gorgeous. We'll have to do a layout with those. And then, um, wow, there's like a lot of die cuts this time. I might need a, a second one of these or a bigger one. Another set of die cuts. And so this one is the memory keeping pocket kit. The die cuts are not the same as the traveler's notebook kit. Here, I'll show you. There are the two, and they're definitely different. Okay, I've got the windows open. The sun is actually going down now. I was hoping they do this earlier, but the windows are open, and I hear the birds, and I'm actually hearing, starting to hear, um, no, I didn't hear an owl yet, but some other birds. Okay, so here is the uh, memory keeping stamp. Uh, I didn't really show you the other one, did I? Here. This one's the pocket, and this one's the traveler's notebook kit stamp. Hopefully I'm getting all that in frame too. And then we've got, I'll leave this in front, the actual pocket cards. And I always like to make sure I don't mess up too much with the sticker that holds these glassine bags closed because you never know when you want to use a glassine bag in your project. Okay. Sorry, it's it's noisy. I really don't like that, but can't help it. Um, I'm thinking because this is going to be short, I'm going to put it here. Okay. So we've got, I believe, 24 of the 3x4 cards. 
and I'll just kind of show you a little bit. Go to the website, you know, cocodaisy.com um, and click on this kit and you can see all the different options. This is the pocket keeping kit for March. By the way, the collection is called Orchard Path, if I didn't mention it before. Isn't that pretty? Just those soft colors. So I'm going to do it and put it right here. The tag is a little taller. We have, can't forget the chipboard. Love chipboard. Love me some chipboard. Gorgeous. So I consider chipboard light stickers. You know what? Because I'm worried that I'm going to forget this, I'm going to put this here too. And then, oh, my absolute favorite color is green. In my house and in my wardrobe, I have a lot of gray. And then I would say I have a lot of blue as my second. But secretly, my favorite color is this shade of green. Oh my God, so pretty. So I will take both out. Put the package in here. I have smaller packaging I've just set off to the side. And I, I, I have a drawer where I keep extra packaging. So stickers here. Now this is actually getting kind of like more over here than over here. So what I'll do is I think I'll take the alphas and put them back here. Yeah, that'll work. See, it's very versatile. Take the alphas here because I can kind of spread them out a little bit. And um, these stickers I can kind of spread out a little bit. In fact, see, I know that these are from one kit and these are from another. I will kind of keep them like this, staggered. Okay. And then more sheets of paper. These are the same, but these come in the memory keeping kit. You get one set of the five that are double sided. And then I have the classified memory keeping kit. So you don't know ahead of time. It, it's got some different goodies, some exclusives that are Coco Daisy created and sometimes from other companies. Let's see what we have in here. This time we have another set of rubber charms. I should have said charms before, right? So this, since this is the third set, I'm not gonna take this one out. I'll just leave it in this small space. Uh, another tag, and it's the same tag, but you know, in general, it depends on how many kits you get. You probably will not get so many duplicates. Um, another set, so you can buy these individually. That's right, I don't think I've mentioned. Some of the items in the kits, they actually sell individually as well. So another set of these, and you know what? I am not going to take these out because I just can't fit more in this small container. So I will stick these here. Um, I think I'm going to want to, let me double check this real quick. I was wondering if I could stick them at the front. That means I have to make sure I have space for this. And see, it's a little wider. So I will stick these down here. Now this is different, um, Heidi Swamp tags, and they should be complimentary. Oh, I'm looking down and I just realized I forgot to show you the four by six ta uh, cards from the memory keeping pocket kit. Sorry, I'm starting to, when my videos get long, I start to babble and um, slur. So some tickets and tags, these are really pretty. These are really cute. Look at that. I mean, the that color really complimentary. So, yeah, this is nice. And you know what? I'm thinking, since they're a little long, I'm thinking of just putting them in front here. Oh, my God. Cute paper clips. Cute paper clips. And you can totally see the little animal with these flowers and such. So I will put these here. And there is a little flare today. Love that. I love the scripty font. Matches this one right here. 
You see the today and the today? So that's very cute. And then I did forget the four by six cards. I think there are always four of them. Yeah. There you go. So I stick these. Um, I'll stick them back here because they're taller. And I'm going to stick this here. You know what? I don't like that. I think I will stick the four by sixes back here. Yeah. So let me tilt this so you can see all of the kits. This holds right now is holding four kits. The memory keeping pocket kit, the memory keeping traveler's notebook kit. I'm trying not to let them fall out. Um, the memory keeping sticker kit and uh, the classified memory keeping edition kit. And hopefully you can see all that. So those are what I keep in front in my desk. So I'm just gonna push it back for the month. I forgot the washi from the TN kit and I'm sticking it in here. I'm gonna do this because I did have questions about the planner kit. So I'm gonna go grab the planner I'm going to use. I almost chose the White Felicity Jane planner that I have in an A5 size, but I thought I'm not gonna get very many opportunities to use this beautiful green one from Simple Stories. So I was storing something else in it um, which is for recipes, which I still haven't done that project. So I just emptied it out and I'm gonna use it this month. So let's start with the actual planner insert. These are A5 and I'm not gonna set up my whole planner. You, you know, I'm sure not everyone who tunes in to my stuff is interested in the planners, but I did have a few questions. So what I do is I stick it in here, but, oh, in the past two months, I had been using the personal size inserts and I'm, I'm glad I'm switching back to the A5. What I do is, so there's always the, those calendar at the front, and then you have the weekly ombre, I call them ombre sheets. Um, I do use these for my weekly appointments, anything that's really scheduled. And there's, there were all of them there. But what I do is I don't want those directly next. So uh, what I'm going to do is find, okay, and then this is the week in two pages. So that's, for me, that's my third division. So what I'm going to find is this sheet over here. There we are. Okay. So here are all the weeks and two pages. So I do stick those behind those week in one page. But what I like to do is move the big calendar before the weeklies. My mind just works better that way. And then I have this that I'll use for my monthly sort of overview goals. And behind these are all the months. Then I put my weeklies then I put my dailies. And then what I will do is I don't usually buy the dashboards. I will make myself some dashboards with some of those papers and the tabs that come in this kit. So, you know, I'll be setting this up later. But I wanna show you everything else that came. We have some washi for the planner kit. It is gorgeous with these flowers. And uh, I'm not going to open that yet, but I'm going to put it in here. When I set up my planner, I usually do that on my couch. I don't usually film that. When I set up my planner, I will take some washi and put it on a little acetate. Adorable clip with a bow. And it's one of those really big clips. So I will definitely be using them in here. I mean, you know what? My wedding was sage green and apricot. <laughs> so you know that this color combination is right up my alley. And because I have got an A5, I'll be able to fit the stuff that I couldn't fit in my personal size. So let me grab all this. We have in the planner kit. So there's always a little notepad. And what I like to do is stick that... There's usually a slot in the planners behind like that. 
in my personal size, I would cut some of this black back cardboard to stick it in if it didn't fit. So stick that in here. Um, another tag, and I will stick this tag because it's the same tag here for decoration, and I might use it for something. Um, I do sort of medium decorating in my planner. I would say medium. <laughs> um, the small stickers will fit here. That's nice because I couldn't fit them all in my small planner. The bigger sticker sheets will fit here. And it's going to be so much fun setting this up because of the colors. I might do that tonight. <laughs> and then I usually set it up right before the month because I like to be kind of fresh in my mind. And be close to being done with the previous month and just sort of take that out of my mind. And then now the planner kit comes with some papers too. These are bigger. And I like to use these for my scrapbooking too. We got one two, three, and these are different from the papers in the memory keeping kit and in the planner kit. But you know what? I am sticking these papers in with the other papers in my storage. I know this is probably off camera there, but I showed you that. There are stickers here, and these are really cool that Christine created a couple months ago. She started introducing these where they fit on the sides. So they, they come out, they fold, and they decorate the sides. So I will be using some of those on here. I like to decorate certain pages. I do dividers with tabs, and then I'll use those in between for other significant pages, such as if when I do like a weekly goal or I'm doing stuff for my, my Etsy shop and, and I have a page with notes. All right, here is the tabs and other die cuts for the planner kit and oh this is this is pretty let me take this out too i'll rearrange this all later um let me go get the container that i put these in so these are the bags and the the this is a sticker book that i've been using and you can see that i put my february um stamps and then other Coco Daisy stamps I have, and then other stamps I have that are planner related. In here, I did not stick the new ones for this month in here because I know I wanna use them in my memory keeping. And um, I'm just gonna keep this on my other desk. I keep my planner stuff in the desk that's behind me where my computer is. This is my scrap desk. All right, and then because we have a new pretty bag, I will be switching things over. So, oh, this is so pretty with the birch. I even love the Coco Daisy logo tag and this cute little uh, tassel. So what do I have in here that I need to change over? Well, this is where I keep die cuts for my planner. And I mentioned this before, <laughs> this is from the travel section where I think you buy Q-tips. <laughs> And it's just a smaller container. I love it. I keep reusing it over and over again. So I'll be putting this in with the die cuts from last month. And I actually punched myself out a separate little star. I'm going to keep that there. And then I'll get the new die cuts in here. I should punch some out of like this orangey paper. That's what I do. I like to decorate with stars for certain things that are due. So that's what I do. I punch out little stars and have extras. Put that in here. I will not be, need these from February. So I'll show you in a sec what I do when I empty things out. I have certain little, um, these are like the chalk inks um, and Versafine that don't show through. I keep these because this is what I stamp things, a color code like for my kids or just a general, the gray. And I keep a couple blocks. And sometimes the Travis Notebook Kit has a little glue stick, so I've stuck it in with my planner. And that's when I can use to either stick the die cuts on or um, those little stars I punch out. And then I have a thin roll of washi, and I might go into my, actually, I'll, I'll bring it over right now. 
I have this that holds my thin washies and then I will every month come in and find a washi, the thin ones, that might match. They may or may not. I think this green is a little bit of a brighter green. Um, but we've got this peachy tone. So I'll pick a couple and I do have some that are just plain and I'll take them out of the ring and stick them in my planner box bag. Oh dear, I was like way off there. Okay, let's do this properly here. Gotcha. I'm loving this. I think this match is pretty darn good. It's the darker one. I always keep the white because it's so useful. They have, I have a lighter one. So I think I'll do that and then I'll have the two these. So I will stick some in a little acetate piece and stick it on here. And then my ring just gets hung up. I have a pegboard. So I'll do that later, but for now I can stick the washi in here. It's gonna feel a little full. And then we have a pen with the pen gems, which matches. There is a little bit of a pinky tone in the kit, and that's what it matches. If you can see that background there. So there's like a like a peachy, orange, peach, green, there's some blue, and then there's a slight amount of pink. The pen is gorgeous. I absolutely love these pens. They write so nicely. And then when you come, you just take this little pit bit off and they always have extras. And I have actually used up a couple of these because I just use, I do so much writing with this pen because I love it so much. So I'm gonna take that off, stick it in here. I love this combination. Like, I don't think I want to give up. I don't think I'll be able to give up March after it's done. It's so beautiful. So that, oh, no, one more. We always have a little notepad too, and I take part of the notepad off. I love seeing what the notepad's gonna be this each month. And I stick a few here somewhere in the planner. So in this case, I probably will just stick it here. So I have some, and then the other ones I use as sticky notes in my at my computer desk, um, and I almost use them up a lot too. All right, so that is quite extensive, hopefully not too much. <laughs> One more thing I will show you. I was asked, what do I do with the kits once I'm done? So in the interim, because I am actually still creating a lay one more layout with this kit that I want to do the next couple days. And then I have some video editing to do so I can share the, the stuff I did with you guys. Um, I have another smaller container. It's a little less bulky um, and it's not as um, user friendly in my mind, but it's nice to store things up right. This one I got at Target. The other one I have a link to um, in the description below, but this one's just a little smaller. It still holds 12 by 12 across and I just stick everything in it. So it's just not as accessible, but it still keeps things fairly contained. And I put this on not my desk but i have some storage drawers and i stick it on top of the storage drawers it's just a little further away but i can still access it and then the previous month so in january i have a big drawer alpha drawer that's dedicated to coco daisy stuff and i just throw it all in there it's really not very well organized I will have to go in eventually and organize it but for now the system's working out for me my current kit are in the bigger die stamp storage container link below and then my previous month's kits kind of contained a little smaller this is from target I, I i can look for a link for this as well and then the much so see i'll stick these in here and kind of higgly piggly but like I said, I'm only gonna have one more layout I'm gonna make with this and then I'll be putting it away. And then um, once I'm even done with the, this kit, it goes in a drawer. It's a big drawer 
from the container store, those alpha drawers. All right. Thank you so much as always for <laughs> coming on and listening to me just babble on, <laughs> but go to Coco Daisy for these orchard path. I mean, it's just oh, absolute gorgeous kit. Go, go, go run. They, everything's still available. And, um, the newer kits, which are for April are amazing and there's been sneaks and those go on sale tomorrow. So if you want to sub, you can use my name, Iris Fox, at the checkout for the new subscriptions and you'll get a discount on those. So don't forget to do that. Thank you so much guys and I will see you back here hopefully soon.